Hello, we are back. Hey, Josh. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm going good. I'm going good. My name is Rusty. Hello, everyone who is joining hey, us. other people here. For whatever episode. What episode are we up to? I, I can't, remember. can't remember. I did episode yeah. 13 or something else. <laughs> Simmer. Simmer. Yeah, very good. Uh, Josh, it's quite late. So it is. we need to get into the gin. In, I can't even say into the word. The agenda straight away. The agenda. This straight is straight into the agenda. Righto. What have we got there? We have um, Sinjin today. Sinjin is what you've chosen, the Roth version. because I, I pre picked it out. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. All right. There we go. So this is a WA gin, which I picked up earlier this year when I went to WA, which makes sense. Which is hard to believe that we still have bottles that are unopened. Yeah, yeah. Well, they yeah. they came in a whole sort of kit with all the different uh, sins. They did. How many was it? Uh, seven. Seven. It would make sense, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um. And so here we are. Oh, well, mine's even got pre fruity things in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I, we, we're just gonna nick the bottle. These are slightly awkward um, tonic waters because you always end up with leftovers. Yeah, it's for. Uh, no, you hold your leftovers. I'll hold mine. You, yeah. Okay. You, yeah. That's just. Oh. Uh, oh. Well no, done. Take it back. No, it's a perfect. Oh. Quantity. Fit. What a what a Take it back, quantity. Cappy. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done, well done Cappy. Josh has. Uh, I doubted poured, you when I shouldn't have. Poured his uh, poured his gin and tonic right to the uh, just oh, shy yeah. of the lip, and it's worked great. Yeah, that's strong. Cool. What well, they're strong. What well, did you say? That whole thing is in both glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Cool. Yep. These are going to be uh, good strong pours. Yeah. Here we are. What's it like? Rothy. Rothy. <laughs> Full of all the wrath. Full of wrath. I feel like I'm getting revenge. Um, so oh, I Sin- actually like that. Yeah, it is good. So Sinjin is this uh, relatively small distillery over in WA, found accidentally. Yep. Uh, one of few that were open on the particular day I went to gin tasting. Uh, and, yeah, really enjoyed. They took us through. They, they actually did a really good presentation. So you know, took, took us through all yeah, the different right. gins and gave us tastings and stuff. And so I bought the the, bought the, uh, the mid-size. I'm just going to get rid of the, the rest of the wrath. Well. Me, um, me as well. And so I bought, bought the mid-size uh, box with all the different ones in there and we didn't get the tasting notes on this. They're downstairs, but tastes like tastes like wrath. Yep, t- tastes like that. What do you think about the gimmick angle, Josh, the, the, the sin the, gin and then you're doing a gin for each uh, one of the deadly sins? and then I, I like it. I, I just, I like, yeah. Yep. That, that's something little that everyone, you know, most people know of all of them. Just no, that the little concept. like, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'd be interested to see the tasting notes that that compare to each of the mm-hmm. the seven. They, they certainly gins. did, having gone through seven. Well, there's actually eight or nine. So this is this is one of the problems about doing yeah. a gimmick like this, where you've got a restriction on like seven, and then you're like, hey, we want to make another one. You're like, yeah, it's going to be the not as slothy sloth. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't know, but anyway, they I almost um, feel like you need to have a sub sort of sub series to that, where you've got your seven deadly sins range, mm-hmm. and then you've got. Room to then play yeah. with others that aren't in that. Which I think range. they've sort of done that, but anyway, that's just that's just one of those little sort of challenges with a gimmick. Yeah. So not not a bad option, not a bad option at all. Yeah. Enjoying there that you one. Go. How's that? Is it better with an orange unit? You wouldn't know because you haven't had I it without. Haven't had it without. It's mm. good with an orange unit though. Well, the reason we are fumbling about so much is uh, because we are on the Thursday night prior to Black Friday. Black Friday is tomorrow. Yes. Black Friday is about an hour and a half, and I've got a lot of work to do before we get to that. Yeah. But uh, we have we, we we're in the midst of Black Friday, so the other business that we run out of this same building is predominantly retail, and yep. so retail Black Friday makes a lot of sense, right? And so we yeah we're doing all the all the bits and pieces. We're hitting it hard. How many pieces of content would you say that are Black Friday related going out per day? Across those two brands, Josh. Oh. Put you on the spot right now, sucker. I don't know. A do- a, no, it'd be more than a dozen. Yep. It'd be in between a dozen and 20. Okay. So, so quite a bit. I'm going to weasel my way out of thinking about that too much. There's a couple of emails going out each day and other bits and pieces. So there's, yeah. there's, there's lots going on and, and yeah, lots you, of Instagram stuff. Because you want to hit hard. You've got your web banners. You've got your yep. social posts, your reels, yep. all of the above. Absolutely. So uh, that, that's all going on, and by the time this one goes out, it'll be it'll be the end of Black Friday. It'll be towards it. We're running for eight days. I mean, it's, it seems like it's Black November now. It'll be mid Black Friday. It'll be mid mid Black Friday ish. It will towards the end. Yeah, this is going out in two days' time. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sooner than I thought. But anyway, but by the time most people hear this, this will be uh, all yep. wrapped up for Black Friday. So we 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 want to talk a little bit about. Black Friday, but also uh, we want to delve into sort of something a, a little bit deeper on there. But quick little uh, uh, business update: things are we we we're building lots of 
knowledge. We, we've sort of focused internally a lot because uh, we've been delving down the YouTube path quite deep. Yeah. Uh, we've been playing with some TikTok stuff. Yeah, we have um, been, yeah. been keeping our um, virtual hangouts kicking along. Yes, these are, and these seeing are some, well. some new faces, which has been awesome to see. Mm. I was chatting to a guy tonight actually about about where we're taking this the business, and I said we because we got other focuses at the moment, we are setting it up with like a a small little trajectory on it for sort of organic growth, really. Yep. And so we've got like a we, we've just sort of uh, sort of pushed up the angle that is that is moving with a slight like we've just put a uh, you know put a tie down, so it's just on a slight angle. Yes. Yeah, with yeah. the intention that we we're not we don't going to sort of jump out and just boost it like st- straight up. We're just wanting to, to grow organically and and, and yep. ease into it, knowing that we we'll hit a point where it will go up, or at least we certainly hope so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we we we're focusing a lot on internal like learning. Yeah. A, lo- a lot. And like, we are definitely learning those lessons. Oh, Im- immensely. I mean, we've we've managed to get you know a, a YouTube channel that was getting thirty thousand views a month to get. 28 million in the last month. Yeah. Uh, things like insane that. Insane numbers. Yeah, insane numbers. And so these are, you know, we, we are sort of not pushed as hard as perhaps we could have. Yeah. But only because we've been so fat out, <laughs> busy. So we, we also did, I want to touch on, we did uh, set some commitments last episode. They are on hold because we probably didn't take into account Black Friday was coming up. Yeah. And, and Black, things get very busy for Black, Black Friday. Friday is, is all consuming for yes. us. Uh, there's lots of content creation, uh, but we're, we're going to get in, into. Oh no, let's just talk a little bit about some of the stuff that we did to prepare for Black Friday. Now, this is much smoother than last year's Black Friday. Last year's Black it Friday is. was like every night we were here till some stupid time and just just trying to, try to make it all work yep, and all getting stuff. it all done for the next day and then rinse and repeat. <laughs> yeah, and then be like, all right, what are we what are we going to do today? <laughs> <laughs> yep. to, to, tomorrow, um, or for that day. <laughs> so th- this is, you know, this is somewhat planned. So we came up with a plan. We came up with what products were going on, what sale and that. Now, this is a loose plan that we do adjust and change because, for example, we might have a particular product, and this has happened, where we have 10 of them. We're like, okay, cool. We don't normally sell 10 very quickly, so let's see if we can focus on that. By the time we get to the plan the day that that's actually going to happen, we've got three left for yeah, some reason. you do a reason. quick check of stock and you go, oh, oh, this oh is they not, actually sold. Yeah, this is not – and it's because there's more, there's more eyeballs on you. There's, yeah, there's people, more people sort of watching. You're like, right, we're going to change tack. We, we, so we are, we, we create a plan, but we are flexible. Yes. And then you get customers asking, oh, is this going on special? You're like, I legitimately don't know. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I can't st- tell you st- yet. Stay tuned to the website, you'll see. But uh, the, the, the idea, so what, one of the things that we do with Black Friday is that we, uh, because we're predominantly a website-based business, we, we've, done, we've done like the, the 10% discount or the 5% discount or the, the website-wide discount or these categories of this. And, and you do that on the first day and, and you have a good first day. And then you have a reasonable second day. And yep. Then you have a quiet third day, fourth day, fifth day, no one's really interested. You get a little bit of a shake on the last day where people are like, oh, that's yep. right, that's running out yeah, tonight. I better quickly jump back on it before it ends. Yeah. And 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 that's it. Yeah. And you watch your website figures spike on the first day and then just drop off. Yeah, uh, yeah, and the guys who remembered about it sort of go back and you know pick and choose what they were thinking and what they were they were checking out. So we, we I did that three or four years ago, yep. and ever since then we've we've changed tack, haven't we, Josh? We have. So yeah, rather than having that initial big just hey, it's all on sale, go and buy things. Mm. It's a str- strategic push of what you're going to sell. So you you have you know obviously have your deals that launch launch initially, but every day it's just hey guys today these things are on sale or mm. a flash sale where you go, Hey guys, for this day only, mm-hmm. this is on sale, but today only. So you have 24 hours to buy it or unfortunately tomorrow we'll go back to being the normal price. Yeah. You see, you're constantly driving that engagement for people to go, Oh, like, I wonder if I've been eyeing this off for months. I wonder if that's going to be on special tomorrow. Yep. Oh, it wasn't tomorrow. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. You've always got this eyes on you to see, all right, mm. maybe I can pick up my deal tomorrow. What you're doing is you're driving interest and driving traffic. So people go to your website every day to check out what the latest is. You've got a, you've got an excuse because you're you're emailing out every day, which if you're like nothing was changing about the sale, you're emailing like, hey, Black Friday's on. The next day you're like, hey, it's still on. And the following day it's, it's yeah, we've still got it going on. Yeah. 
and your drop-off is, is huge. Whereas if you are every day like, hey, we just added this bunch of stuff to the website or we just did this or for the next 24 hours this promo is on like you're talking about uh, and, you know, and there's, there's sort of different ways of doing that where people are engaging with what you're going on. Yeah, you're, you're spiking that interest because it might be the day that you want to you pick up that product. Hmm. Absolutely. So that's that's really uh, seems to be a more balanced way of doing it. And we had a good spike on the first day, and then it's been a, a good. What do we do? Well, we're only two days into what we're doing, so yeah, it's been a, a pretty reasonable day uh, today as well. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, you do something big for the Black Friday, and then you sort of you know try and do it a little bit more. But by the time you get to the last day, there's all everything. Everything is on show. All the the deals you were going to do is is now there. So yeah. Uh, but you know people can't necessarily wait to the end because stuff yes. goes. It does. Yeah. yeah is, so we, well, one, one of the specials that we have got going is on one particular product mm -hmm. and every day through Black Friday is it's getting a little bit cheaper, Yeah, a little bit cheaper. But the catch to that is there's only one of them. Mm. So you could pick it up, you could wait and go, no, I'm going to wait till the last day and get it when it's dirt cheap. Which it will be dirt cheap. Which if it will it be dirt there, cheap. But there's a good but chance. if someone picks it up on day three and they're like, oh, actually that's really good. I'm just going to buy it now. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. And so you, you, it's a really interesting game of cat and mouse of like, oh, well, do it, I, don't know. What, what's interesting is that it sells for what it's worth. Yeah. Right? Is because, so it's, a, it's relatively big ticket items and these are best done on a bigger ticket item and, and where scarcity is, you know, legitimate. And so, you know, it's, it's valued at a couple of grand and then you drop it down. And yeah, you can, you can organize with suppliers or something like that to get a special thing that you're going to, you know, whatever you're going to do. But yeah. it keeps real interest, people sort of tracking it. And you actually start, and we've seen this previously uh, and we need to we need to bump it a little bit more this year i've noticed we need to sort of focus on it a little bit more but yeah. um the you will you will spark particular interest on that as it comes down and then it'll sell for a good amount because as soon as it's at a point it'll hit someone's tipping point yeah. they're like if you if, if so it's two thousand dollars retail item if that hits eleven hundred i'm in yeah Right? Yeah, I don't care. I'm taking. Yeah, that's it. it. That's in. So they're like everyone's got their price. They're buying it at, and someone's like, I don't need that. But if it gets down to eight hundred, but I'm in. Like I'm, yeah. I'm taking it. And so it's sort of this this point is where you're just sort of feeling things out, and, and it'll it'll go at some point because it's a desirable item. But it's yeah. it's where where the market is true. It's sort of where the market seems it's worthwhile. It's not that not that same dip in price, but case in point, I brought something the other day that I didn't need mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah. But it just it came in at a price and yep. went, I can't let this go. Like yeah. I just I have I to one buy one. Well. Yeah. We both both end up buying one because you go, for this price, yeah. even though I don't need it, I will definitely use it. Mm. So I'm just gonna grab it. Uh, I want to come back to that actually the the thing you bought because yeah. there's there's some some stuff there but um so it's, I, I actually had a question for you talking okay. about these black Friday because you black Friday? you've sort of more orchestrated some of the the deals and the specials that are going on mm -hmm. do you when you're planning out these deals and specials are you picking particular items so that you've got you know a big ticket item that will drop in the middle of the sale and then you know maybe the day before it's not that big ticket kind of stuff. It's just a little bit of just bits and pieces. Like, are you planning it out so that you're getting midway through the sale and there's always that big desirable thing that people are looking at? Do you take that into consideration? You do. Yeah. So, like, if you if you came out with – played your best cards on day one, mm -hmm. even if you kept some level of engagement, the engagement's not going to be so as good, right? Yeah. But you can imagine if you've led with – you know, you've got to lead with some stuff. And we – I generally lead the first day with some con uh, some quantity. Yep. So you get lots of stuff on on sale, not necessarily the best items, but the lots yep. of stuff. So you've got you got some width to it, right? Some depth to it, width to it, both. You, yeah, you got something. You got something going on. You got something. <laughs> People go to the, the Black Friday section of the website and there's not four items there. Right? Yeah. There's lots of Yeah, you can there. sit there and scroll through and be like, oh, yeah. there's a yeah. few things here. But there's a few things there, right? But not selling anything big, big ticket. And then like so day two, we drop something a lot bigger. Yep. And, you know, you, you, we, you get people keen and excited about it and they go. And then Black Friday itself, the Friday, um, uh, we've got one of the websites we're doing big flash sale on some big, big, big ticket items, what, yep. some of the biggest items we do, right? Yep. And so that uh, they're not massive discounts but these things don't go, don't drop in price. Yeah. And we're, we're doing that. Yeah. So, so then, and they're that type of item that people know that they don't really dip in price. So when they see yeah. a price drop, it's like, oh. Oh, wow. Jump on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They don't expect those to last. So they'll go. But then the day after Black Friday, which you think would be a slow day, on one of the other websites, we got like a, not a, not a big ticket item, but a, a very popular brand of items dropping. Yeah. And dropping quite a significant amount. So all those people that are like, 
spend it all on on Black Friday or like, yeah, oh, I didn't really find anything. Then bang, Saturday is going to be. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, this go. is, yes, I'm in. Whoa, whoa, going on, it's all going on. So uh, that's all that's exciting. Then yeah, you, you, I mean, you can't have you can't have bangers every day. Like I mean, if yeah. you can, you great, but, yeah, good. Winning. But you, you sort of got to have a little bit of contrast as well. So some days there's yeah, there's always there's always new stuff. Yep. But you got to you, you do need to save a little bit to the end as well. And then you've got the option. Like so, we've got the option here if the if the flash sale doesn't go as as good as we hoped, we could we could bring it back. So we do it yep. on on day day three. Do and that we could bring mad it back rush at the end. Day eight, we're like, hey, we brought this one back. You know, like if that's if that's the type of thing you, you want to do. Yeah. So and then you, you've got options where like so one, both websites we're doing like a deal of a day. So you get one particular item on a discount for that particular day. And you, you know what's what's funny from a practical point of view. So. We have sold some of the items we put on special. We've not sold all of them. Yep. We have sold a ton more items. Yep. Just right? in general. In general. And so uh, more people at your website, while they go there for the deal, they, they might be like, oh, yeah, maybe yeah, they, it's not. They the toss thing. and turn. Yep. But then they see something, oh, I really need one of those. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe why they, and what we've seen is the guys will buy the item they're after and then like a couple of small items are on special because they're cheap. Yeah. Yeah, that convenience factor of, yeah. oh, I am going to use this in the next few months. Yeah. I'll get it now. It's cheap. I'll, sa I'll save yeah. myself some money later. Yeah. And so we have had, you know, with more phone calls, we have more people come in the store, all these sort of reasons that boost your sales and not necessarily everything we do has been discounted. And that's where I, I, I shy away from the, like, the store wide, 10%, 20%, 30%, 50 you know, all those sort of things because yeah. you're like, give me a lot more targeting than that. And then a bunch of stuff will sell for full price still. Yeah. Is, we, is that something that maybe like for a day, like maybe not, you know, store-wide for the whole week is just a, mm. like like you said earlier, mm. you get the drop-off point, but is there like, you know, use that as your big ticket item for a day where you just go, right, everything store-wide is 10% off, for, we, like a flash sale for we, the store. We did this exact thing uh, two weeks prior. Actually, yes, that's true. Yeah. 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 You, didn't, you didn't remember that, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> Well, yep. well, well, led. Um, we actually did a not the Black Friday mm. sale two weeks prior, where we did a store wide thing for two days, and it was yep. literally from you know, midnight Saturday morning through to Sunday night. Yep. Uh, and we did that. We did that sale, and it went it went really, really well. Like yeah, really, really well. Um, but you know, much more limited time frame. And yes. I'm curious to see. So we've done better deals on some of the products than that that weekend, um, but. They went, they went, yeah, it was, it was, it was one of those sort of, uh, we thought we'd try it. It's, we've not done that before. And what we try and do from each Black Friday sale, because we've got the, the two brands uh, and and we've got these sort of, we've got the Black Friday sales, we've got usually a Boxing Day sale and we attempt different strategies across the two brands on both sales because one, uh, yeah, we, we're trying to see what works for us. And two, yeah. because, you know, we, we're heading down this this path of, you know, helping and advising and consulting and, and providing content and it's a, strategies. It's a good little test case. We can test stuff. We, we've tried all sorts of different sales and options. So in this instance, we did a pre-sale. And the, the pre-sale was good. It wasn't it wasn't a uh, – sorry, pre-sale is the wrong word. Uh, we did a pre-Black Friday sales event. Yeah, um, a sale before Black Friday. Yeah, correct, whereas pre-sale is a whole different thing. Uh, and so it was interesting to see. And it actually leads me on to a, to a point that I've been – that was on my mind a lot – not last year, it was the year before, I reckon. Yep. The year before was about Black Friday – um, working out why Black Friday works so well. So this is the year that we did, we did it right the first time. Yeah. Uh, this would have been 2020? 2020. Yeah. So yeah. did it, did it well the first time. And so we, we, this is after we did like the, the store wide thing. We started going to this sort of day by day thing, some pieces. And one of the things that I'm, I, I believe Black Friday works and it, over, you know, go back four or five years in Australia, it was very, very low key. Yes. And then it, it sort of has built and built and now it's become expected. In fact, we saw a sales dip early in November, late October. Yeah. And we, we yeah. believe part of that, there could be some economy stuff going on, which is legitimate. But um, we believe that a big part of that is people were waiting for Black Friday. Well, I, I, I can say as a consumer of stuff, I, I know that well, even all of us media guys up here, we're sitting here going, coming into November and you're going, cool, let's okay. keep an eye for what's happening because you know there's going to be some killer deals now that you go, mm. 
if I buy something now, I know that there is a very good chance I'll get very disappointed <laughs> later. Yeah. So you just you just hold off and you go, cool, let's see what they do. And it's become the culture. And so so I think that I mean it's no it, it's no surprise that that those who who are good storytellers are, are good at sales, right? And so uh, that's you know it's been selling through story and, and using a story to, to sell. We've done it on videos, we've done it sort of all sorts of things. It's it's a it's a fantastic strategy. And you might think that a sale is not a story, and you would generally be correct, yep. except when it is. And and Black Friday is by default a story because it's shared by a huge amount of people. What you've just talked about is you guys are sitting in this room, there's four of you or three of you at any one time, and you're like, hey, what, you know, what, have you seen anything? And you're like, you, you are prompting this sort of greater story that's being told in multiple countries around the world that at this time of year, yeah. there's killer deals. People are going to do killer deals, so keep an eye out. You talk about it, hey, did you see anything mm-hmm. last night? And and you, you've got an example where one of the guys came in the morning, he's like, hey, did you guys see that deal that was at JB Hi-Fi and all this sort of thing? And so um, – it has become this greater narrative that the Black Friday is on, and what what deals can you get, and what's on special, and who's involved, and all this sort of gear. It has become its own reason to buy things, uh, and yeah, and then the yeah, and, the, and this has grown. We've seen it over the last five years. I mean, I've been now in in that retail side of things for eight years or so. Back yeah. to when no like no one even heard of Black Friday through to oh, especially in Australia. I remember yeah. just you'd see it on the news yeah. in overseas and you'd be like, wow, those are, those are ridiculous things. Cause it was just the Friday and everyone was just nuts trampling over mm. people in stores. Well, what prompted me to do the first one, uh, uh four years ago was the, f- was five years ago where my sales dipped for three days. Yeah. Right. Just went to virtually nothing for three days. Like, yeah. What is going? Yeah. What, uh, what just happened? And then realized this Black Friday thing was happening. So the year after, I'm like, I've got to do it. And that's where I did the, te- the the percentage off thing. It wasn't brilliant, but it was about all I could do at the time. Yep. And uh, and we were much more tired. It was just me and my shed. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, and and then, yeah, to sort of work on improving it and, and growing it. Uh, but it was, yeah, it's, it is this big story. It's become, become as much of a thing now in Australia. And people will push back on it and be like, oh, it's just an American thing. Cool, but the, the point is it exists, and if you're in yeah. retail, you, you sort of need to embrace it to some degree. Um, you can do the anti thing we did two weeks ago where you do not the Black Friday sales. Yeah, do, but do, your, do your one before everyone else. But it's part of the story. Like it's still yeah. part of the Black Friday story, right? Yeah. And so this is where I think like we've done sales and we've done sales weekends. We're like, hey, guys, we got a sale on, and people are like, yeah, cool. Yeah, and yeah. and you sell stuff. And you you know, we you know, do marketing. We can do that sort of gear. We can get the word out there, and we sell some stuff. But the thing that keeps drawing me back to the Black Friday side of things, and the Boxing Day is, is not dissimilar. Perhaps not as big a thing anymore, but used yeah. to be. I mean, I remember um, back when Boxing Days were a big thing uh, about Boxing Day sales here and Boxing Day for someone who's not living where Boxing Day or things <laughs> out. It's the day after Christmas, right? Yeah. And I remember like I remember like going to into the city and these this is back when sales started at sensible times at like six in the morning or seven in the morning and you were like all standing there waiting for the shops to open. Yeah. And then they you want to be one of the first thirty people in that store. That's exa- and, but there was like ludicrous deals of, you know, like eighty, ninety percent off, all that sort of stuff, all the stuff we're familiar with. And and yeah, but that was part of like, are you going to the the yeah the post Christmas sales and and it just sort of it changed a little bit. It was a full day experience oh, just going to that sale. That's exactly right, and it became it became a story. I mean, it wasn't online back then. There was no, there was yeah. no uh, the, the if very you physically little, picked up that product first. It was it yours. Was yours. <laughs> that's right. Um, so it was, but that was there was a story. There was a story on it, and then the news would cover it. And all, there, there was there was lots going on, uh, and so. I think there's there's more in this in story, and so we've we've seen and we've talked about doing it, and and uh, and I want to see it next year. I actually, want to put it on our marketing calendar for the retail side of things next year. Is that we create our own story with sales? So if we're going to have a weekend, we're going to focus on sales or a week or whatever it is. We need to build out that reason for people to be interested in what we're doing. Yeah. Now, saving some money is a reason to be interested, but there's more. There can be more to it than that. And, you know, while your goal might be to move a stack product, right, which yeah. is, you know, if you're in retail, that's what you're attempting to achieve. Yeah. 
but how you get there is is you know it can take many paths, and so. We have talked about, Josh, and we, we didn't previously, like a one of the retail stores is very much based around an activity that you need to sort of learn skills. And you need to learn, you sort of got to get in on it and you learn how to do it and then you can sort of develop into it. And we've talked about doing a weekend or a week where we do like live streams through the day and we do sort of this and that and ed, lots of education and, and yeah. almost like a 48-hour. So you're, sort of you're not pushing the sales of it. You're teaching, you're pushing the skills and the, the mm. knowledge around it. Knowledge. Do all of these things. Create the story. This is, this is the big weekend where we're going to teach you guys how to do this or do this better or get this guest in and, and, and yeah. drop these four videos we've made that cover all these different topics and like make a big event out of it and, and a reason for people to pay attention. And also we're going to do some sale or 10% off for the weekend for, that's my alarm to tell me go and do Black, Black Friday stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's going to, that's probably going to happen a couple of times this show. Yeah. Uh, and so the, the, the creating a, a reason as to, to why and, and a bigger yeah. story. And that could be, and that could be the the one that you often see is like the boss is away, we're, we're slashing prices, that sort of stuff. And like, yeah. But those work better than just there's a sale on. Yeah. And so giving people that reason, that story, and the more you can sort of build on that story, I think the better it works because people people like a story. People like to be involved in and in building that sense of like you, you know what's happening, you're in, you're in the community, you're in what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean I, I really like the element of bringing that knowledge and skill side because there's that to pretty much, you know, every field that you're selling something in, there's there's some knowledge and some skills around how to use it and how to – whatever it is. But bringing that not just, hey, we just want to sell you stuff. It's like, no, we actually want to – we want to teach you so that you can, you can use it, yeah. you can use it better, you can have fun while doing it. It's not just like, you know, obviously the end of the day is we to would teach, like your money. Teach you how to handle a microphone, not yeah. smash it into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. I'll take a course on it. Okay, hopefully good. someone does that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Some place that sells microphones. Yeah, uh, hopefully. Yeah. But yeah, teaching you the skills that you need that way, I guess it's, well, one, it's helping you because you can then go away with, you go, oh, I want that product. You grab that product and it's like, cool, these guys actually showed me how to use this new thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take the skills that they showed me, the product I brought from them, and I'm going to put that all into action. It's good. Uh, Apple do this really well, actually. Because they, yeah. they, in the Apple stores, they have those presentations that happen just all the time. There's stuff going on. Like if you ever had time to go in the Apple store, you'd learn a ton about phones and yeah. iPads and all that sort of gear. But, you know, who's got time for that? Well, obviously, obviously someone. Um, but they, they do that really, really well. Bunnings do it quite well with the DIY nights and stuff. And this, yeah. is, this is stuff that we want to replicate here. Without, we've got a dedicated training room for this purpose. We just haven't actually implemented it yet. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, things have been ch challenging with time. Uh, and, and we've had other focuses. Yes. But the th that is you know part of the, the goal. So I think that if you're like, all right, I need to you know need to drum up some sales, whatever it is, see what you can do for your customers beyond, and and create a reason, create a story, and, and educate or pass value onto them. Because if you've you know if you provided some entertainment, you provided that sort of thing. So so one thing today, we we actually every Thursday in in one of the retail businesses we do training. Yeah. And it's internal training. So I usually take the guys through a topic or whatever it is. But today, uh, sort of a topic, and one of the guys here, I would say he probably knows more than I do about this particular topic. Yeah. And so I said to Tony, mate, how about you take the other guys through and, and, and delve into it? And he really he likes it now. He's got, he's got yeah. products in that topic. And so he, he actually really is passionate about it. So he took the guys through. Yeah. And I went live on TikTok and, you know, I was answering some questions, showing some stuff, bits and pieces. And then I put it, sat the, the, the phone down in front of him while he's teaching the other guys about it. Yep. And he effectively sort of started teaching to the, to the phone as well as to these yep. guys. You're going back and forth with people in the room yeah. and then the screen. Yeah. And look, there's only a handful of people watching, right? Uh, but that's, you know, six, seven, eight people that were now engaged with getting value from, from what we do. And we were doing it anyway. Yeah. It wasn't much to change to addressing the camera. From Tripod the and a phone to be able to put down on the <laughs> table in front of someone. Yeah. And so it's, it's really, uh, it's really the, that ability to do that. And, and one thing I'd like to actually do more is to do some more, like oh, often Thursday nights for us can be sometimes real busy, yeah. but more than not, particularly that time between like we, we, we open till 7 PM and often between about four and five thirty, it's pretty quiet. 
Yeah. Right, that's the time where people go home, yeah. getting home from work, well, and doing everyone's stuck before, in traffic before they want to go out and go and go shopping or anything like those signs. So we seem to be pretty quiet through those times. So that's the time we should do sit there on a live Q and A and just answer questions. Yeah, uh, those sort of things where you can provide value. Yeah, I think are, are very good. So. Mm, we've been doing that. We'll do a bit more of that. We'll see how yes. Saturday goes. Saturday's early, earlier in the morning, sometimes a bit quiet. Yep. We'll try that as well. Yep. Jump on and do some lives. Yep. Exactly right. So that will be interesting to do. It will. Well, I wanted to um, dive into a bit more, some some practical things. Okay. Let's talk practical. Because, you know, we, we anticipated Black Friday stuff a bit more this year than we did last year. Much. And we have, I guess we have a different system with our team in place. Okay. So last year we were running with third-party people for our graphics. <laughs> there, there was, there was just some challenges in sending off artwork, sending off your d- design brief, getting the artwork back. A couple mm. of tweaks and changes, and you're talking, you know, a couple of days in between these things, not yeah. super quick. Yeah. So this year round, we chucked it to Sam, who'll be editing this podcast. Hello, Hello who has Sam. some? Hi, Sam. <laughs> I know how much you love Photoshop now. Yeah. Um, but Sam is very good with Photoshop, like much, much better than I am. Probably, probably the best person in the building. Is that just by default? Like just he, by won't, default. he won't claim to be good with it. No, 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 he but won't. But he's the best out of the rest the, of us. He's the best that we have. <laughs> he's actually pretty good. He, he is pretty good. But that ability to, you know, we had the list, our targeted list that we knew we needed to get. Yeah. So it went cool. Even if these change, we've at least got templates. Like the design yes. is there. You can just, you can tweak and change that later. <clears throat> So we went through the list and went, cool. We sat, spent, we spent a solid day and maybe the morning the next day just going, cool. We need this, 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 and this. Yep. And we picked a couple of the major brands yep. that we were dealing with and went, cool. This is artwork tailored, you know, with a little bit of their, their styles in yep. there too. And then went, cool. This is a generic one. That way we can drop any, mm-hmm. any mid sales thing that we need. We can just drop a photo, change the text and we're good to go. And we spent the yeah. time beforehand doing that. We had a social post, we had a web banner and yeah, day and a half and they were all done. Yep. And then now it's, it's led to the matter that we get new changes or coming up to the next day and we go, cool. I like this you is were, the actual you d- were design. very polite with what you just said. You just said we get new changes. That yes. was me changing my mind. Yeah. And <laughs> something, yeah. something coming along I'm like, oh, by the way, I needed to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very but polite, the, well done. It's that that forethought to Correct. make these things easy yep. that when a change like that comes along, you don't then sit there and go, That's, I need to do a whole new design for this yep. now and I need to have this done in like a few hours. Yeah, or awesome. minutes. Yeah, It's just, cool, I'll yep. just swap this photo for this photo yep. and change that text and we, right. are, we are good to go. And so there's there's a couple of things here I'd like to, like to delve into. That template that you created means that if I do – we said change my mind, but respond to what's actually dynamically happening in a business. Yeah. I know that I'm like, hey, uh, we're canning that product. We need this or I need like this extra word on that, to, you know, excluding this or including this or whatever it is. I actually know that that's not that much more work for you. Yeah. Right. And I don't feel bad about doing it. It's annoying. I know. It's probably but- at, at the most it's a 20-minute, half an hour thing. Because if, if there is a product that we don't have a photo of, yeah. it's a matter of like, all right, Cool. Grab the camera. Yeah, and your, in your standards photo, are pretty there. high for what they that are. is. Like yeah, you yeah. could actually, like if you needed to, you could probably achieve that in two or three minutes. Oh, probably. Yeah, yeah correct. But it your is. standards are high because you'll take that photo and then that photo will go into the bank and that photo yeah. will then be be there 100%. and be drawn on. Yeah, so let's let's clarify. Big, you know, for, yes, for yes. most of our audience, they're just like, 20 minutes, that's ages. You're like, yeah, okay. Yeah. We're, doing, we're doing a lot and we're doing a lot of long-term work in that 20 yes. minutes. This is this yeah. is photos yeah. that we will use in six months to a year's time. The other thing about this template, uh, and I'm not great with Photoshop. I can never get myself my way around. But I know that if I, you know, let's say so, because uh, of our website at 11.30 each night, I have to just make some little tweaks. Now, they're all minor. They're all easy to do. But I have to make some little tweaks. Yeah. Josh is probably... I won't say in bed, but he's probably either driving home or he's probably on a F1 simulator or 14 gin streak deep. Uh, well, it sounds like I'm about that many. No, no. Um, yeah. But anyway, for, for whatever, yeah, I don't want to ring up staff and be like, hey, can you do this at, you know, 11.30 at night to do whatever it might be. Yeah. That template is simple enough. Yep. And labelled enough, and this yes. is the key thing, is, is you get a good designer to do this stuff for you and you can go into it and then it's like, hey, add this here 
and this is your generic text file. And and so yeah. you can go in there and be like, right, uh, uh, I need this to actually now, so I need to update the date. The date's wrong on this. Change the date, save, yep. it, done. And you're like. You've got one so, text box that's just date. Yeah. And so I can actually go into the file if I needed to. And I've done it a little bit and then realized, no, actually you guys can do it. I'll do it in a pinch. So if it comes to it and yeah. Josh is away on Saturday and, and then not around on Monday and or you might be, I don't know. But anyway, let's say you're away. <laughs> let's keep everyone guessing. Uh, you're away on uh, Saturday. And so maybe I'm like, oh, I need to change this on Saturday because of reasons. Yep. Those templates are easy enough for me to jump in, change the wording, uh, and then and then ex- you know, save it and, and I'm – I'm good to go. Yeah. And so that's one of those real benefits of like where if you were, you know, let's say you're gearing up for your own Black Friday sale next year or whatever sale you decided to tell a story about and you're not very good with Photoshop and stuff, so you, you get a you get a graphic designer to build you a template that you can just swap the back image out or like a main image out and the text out and the text, you know, has the, the various areas for. Yeah. Um, get get the pro to do that and, and then you can go in there and edit it and it, it will save you actually – bunch of time and uh, it'll it'll build your experience but it also allows you to respond really quickly to, yes. to whatever it might be and then you might even be able to grab that that option and then for the next year you'd be like hey can you just tweak this like 10 percent tweaks and that's what we yep. really did this year just some minor tweaks to adjust for it and then go again well this year this year was um oh, no, he, he, this he is going to be our fresh year so mm. what you've just talked about next year yeah we'll be able to dig all this stuff up and be like Oh, minor tweak here, minor tweak there. Yeah, It'll right. be, you know, maybe oh, half a day max. Because we had the artwork from we had the artwork from last good, time. Not a very good party that was not. Uh, yes, it's not very we'll remain la- nameless. <laughs> yeah, that's but right. yeah, f- like for next year, mm-hmm. the stuff that we've done this year is going to be rather than the day and a half getting yep. artwork ready, it'll probably be half a day just tweaks yep. and changes, and then cool, we're good to go again. Absolutely, very good. Well, Black Friday is pretty o- o- all-consuming. Uh, it is. And and it's full on. So we didn't we didn't even get remotely close to our um, challenges. I don't remember what that. I know I do remember what mine was. Uh, I have but, chosen to not remember mine. <laughs> but we we shall reinstate them once Black Friday is over because Black Friday is our last big thing of the till till Christmas really. Yep. So our last big fight. We've got a lot, plenty plenty of work to do. But you say till Christmas. Christmas is like. Just around the corner. Yeah, like really. a week away. Isn't it? <laughs> it feels like it. Next um, podcast will be like, and it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually program in our uh, our. I don't want to know. Uh, what are they? What are they called? Um, the catch ups, the virtual hangouts. Oh yeah. And then like did the you next do one, till the end of the year? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, ah, yeah. oh, we've got two left. Yeah. <laughs> so I made the last one into. Yeah, it's scary one. quick. We finished yep. all of our event stuff, and we're like, oh, we've got heaps of time before next year. And like, look at the calendar now, and you're like, no, we don't. It's almost next no, year. We don't. One thing that came up in, in this whole thing that I, I thought I thought would be interesting just to bring up is so we uh, we had a phone call about a camera. We did. Someone, a friend of ours, just trying to get some it's advice. A very, it's an expensive phone call. <laughs> expensive well, phone sort call. of. And his, he was asking about a particular camera and I asked the guys and, you know, gave some thoughts and stuff. And Josh, Josh started Googling something or other. Yeah, because he'd mentioned it and there's obviously in, like it was an action camera and in the action camera world now there are Excellent. a smattering of options. One of the ones that came up and I was like, oh, like, what about, what about a couple of these? And then had a look, jumped onto JB Hi-Fi yep. and remembered earlier in the day, one of the guys had just mentioned something to me and I was just deep in the zone of doing things. And he was like, oh man, these are things are $200 only like for, t- you know, limited time. And I was like, oh yeah. Well, like, and just misheard him and went, oh, they're $200 off. Like, yeah, I roughly good, know what they're not, That's all right. That's, that's okay. Cool. Yeah. And then this sparked that. That interest and jumped on the See, website and actually big, had a look. This big story about this Black Friday. Story. Yeah. And you actually, guys in the morning caught up and talked about we did. You know, stuff that you, you'd noticed. Sucked although you didn't, into you, it. You didn't pay attention. Anyway. No. So, so a reason popped out during the day to bring that, that up and you went and yep. looked at it. Went and looked at it and went, oh, well, it no, this is, it is only $200. Down like, it only like cost seven, $200. It is $500 or, off. Yeah. <laughs> at that point, I'd forgotten that you were on the phone. <laughs> I didn't care anymore. I was just like. I need to buy one of these like <laughs> right now. Get in my yeah. cart and yep. and so as you're going through your cart, this is this is this is an interesting development. I think. What were your delivery options, it's, Josh? No, it's not an interesting development. It's a scary development because I know this is an option. Yeah, okay. The shipping options came up. Yep. And you go, you know, standard post, express post, Uber. Yeah. And it was, I think it was five ninety nine. 
eight ninety nine for Express, ten ninety nine for Uber. To which I went, eh, the person that told me that the deal was on, he was on lunch. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? This would just be so funny because I know the camera will be here. And I think their delivery time was like under two, two, two hours. Two hours, yeah. It was the and I was window. like, that's going to be great because he's not going to be here. He'll come back and then I'll have an Uber de- delivery that's, hey, this is a camera. <laughs> should preface this too. I get Uber for food. It's a bad habit a lot. You do. I do. Far too it's often. It's not good. It's not good. I need to find a food solution. Anyway, yeah. leaving that aside. There's like three minute walk that way. I, I don't want to know. Anyway, I order food a lot. So Ubers typically are... Cool. Joss has got sushi or pizza. Yep. <laughs> so this I'm time, waiting for sushi pizza one day. <laughs> oh, please, someone make it. But he he came back from lunch, and sure enough, we'd looked at it, and I started, you know, just quietly on the side was tracking my Uber and just went, oh, driver's there. Oh, they started driving. And it was 45 minutes from when I'd pressed the add to cart button to the person rocking, at my, up, rock, uh, uh, rocking up at the door 45 minutes later, I had spent, it was $300 for my camera because I had a few extra bits, but $300 at my doorstep, done. Yeah. I, so I, I'd come, I'd go on, oh, my Uber's here. And yeah, people turn around and were like, oh, you know, like in the heads, what does what, what is, what is Josh brought now? Food, what food-wise has Josh brought? And then I came up and it was just like, oh, what's in the bag? And I was just like, DJI action. I was like, what? And I was like, yeah, remember the action you told me about this morning? It's here. Here it is. <laughs> I've just found a picture of a sushi pizza. Oh, no. We'll flash that up on the screen. <laughs> oh, <can> we... <laughs> Uber! Anyway. anyway um, <coughs> so this Good. is this is an interesting an interesting film. And my my first comment to you was, how do we get that here for our, for our retail business? Oh, that you, you really just have comment. an order and just be like, oh, you want this now? Cool. Because I can't. I mean, look, we made a video about, Doing this about like we were we were doing behind the scenes for a podcast uh, thing that we were involved with, and we made a video about like trying to track down a camera and going around and going yes. to a shop and doing this and trying to find cable and stuff like that. Man, we wouldn't have bothered spending the time for two of us to go and do this. We were just Ubered it. Yeah, and and the, like, the the countless amount of times where, um, sure, no, like so. The, the, the addition to that story is I also bought one of the cameras. I bought the basic model for 200 bucks yep. because I'm like, well, you'll have all the fancy bits and pieces and they'll all work for the other one and I'll just buy the cheap one because it's actually useful for us to have two of them. It is, and they're interchangeable. And they're interchangeable they're all connected and they're all this other thing. Um, I didn't bother with the Uber delivery because it, I, I, we're barely going to use your camera, yep. let alone having another one. It'll get here when it gets here and, yeah, we don't actually we, – we haven't got a particular purpose for it. It's a useful thing to have. It will definitely get used. Yeah, it'll get used. So you know, I'm not the five. I mean, it's not it's five bucks. Five bucks, but but yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't need it here. Yeah. At no point. Plus, you you taken that. You know, it's, it, the the novelty. The novelty was was done. Yeah. But there are so many times where I have spent time driving around to multiple shops to try and find someone who actually has something in stock that they say they have that they don't or whatever it might be. Yeah. Uh, I'm much happier to make that an Uber driver's problem slash income yes. for me to be able to stay and, and work on a project, whatever it is. And, and like there hasn't been a super great way to achieve that in that way. And, and now that we know, I mean. There are people doing it. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I mean, there's there's been options. Of course, Curious existed for ages and bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. But the it's the, I mean, you, we can get a courier around Adelaide for a, 10 bucks or something like that, that'll throw it onto the thing and pick it up in the morning and bring it here in the afternoon type thing. That, that yep. all achieves. But it's not seamless. Like it's not a no. – you've got to like organise a thing and then you've got to organise a courier driver to, to go and do the thing and then you've got to like Even Even um, like throwing back to the bit where we had to go and get that camera mm. is the fact that mm. it took 45 minutes from adding to car. So you've got, you know, five minutes just to fill your details in, pay for it and all that rest of it. Yeah. It's the time that it took us – to go from deciding that, all right, we need this camera. Yeah. Ringing up, do you guys have it? All the rest of it, you go and drive there. There's two of us who got driving there to do it. You know, cause we, to, I mean, we were f- filming it. Yeah, we were filming it. <laughs> yeah. That's why. But, yeah. you know, it takes for you to drive there yeah. and then it's, pick up the camera, do all the bits and pieces, and then bring it back. Yeah. It's 45 minutes. 45 minutes probably yeah. was quicker. The, the, yeah, let's say it was an hour. Let's say it was 40. Let's say it was half an hour. That's half an hour of other work you could have been getting done. Yeah. And that's the thing, it's $5 for that half an hour. 
I know on that particular setting oh. up of that podcast, yeah. that extra 45 minutes to an hour of gold. set up and practice and everything would have been worth much more than $5. And, and I, I want, yeah, people realize that not, um, not like we know couriers exist. We know you could even get a taxi and throw it in that. You're like, there's, there's options to have achieved this, but there's not that seamless option. Yep. And there's not this like press the button, do the thing, add the $5, press the, you know, press the go button and it yeah. just arrives. Yeah. It's right? once you've pushed that purchase button. You it's have done. nothing it's else in, to yeah, do. Yeah, that's exactly right. It just right. rocks up And it's just, there's this so, so simple, basic option that, you know, guarantee within two hours delivery, not click and collect, delivery, ready to roll. Mm. And yeah, at, at your doorstep. Yeah. And and we know that Uber network is solid and reliable and, and most of the time, <laughs> but generally, like it, it, it achieves the goal, yeah. right? And there's, and there's recourse as well. If things don't go correctly, yes. there's opportunity to, to, to go uh, through Uber to get that. And I don't know what the situation is, but this is the this is a pretty significant step forward. I mean, being able to get gross. I mean, I remember the night, the night that I found that booze could be delivered on Uber was a night we were all, there was 15 of us in a hotel room. It's a dangerous night, wasn't it? And none of us were really in a state to be able to drive anywhere. And then we found Uber delivered. And we found Uber, Uber had a $100 limit on the booze delivery. So we just ordered multiple Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> really simple solution. Th- that was good. This is this is much more like I can. I mean, that was fun. This is much more beneficial. Yeah. And there will be times where you like for me to like leave work and go and do the th- things to pick up the stuff and come back. No, five bucks yeah. every time. And, and even even in forty five minutes to an hour worth of work. Even the total, the ten dollars or eleven dollars or whatever it might be. So this is this is the type of thing that I get very excited about. I thought I, uh, this is one. How do we get it here? Our business is not so much reliant on that, but there are. You know, elements like this is something that office work should be on. Yes. Yeah, because the amount of yep. time where you're out of something yep. and you're like, oh, man, I just I need this here. There's something like office work. It's like Bunnings. You can imagine if Bunnings got onto this. Oh. The amount of, I mean, Uber drivers probably need to start driving vans and utes for yes, <laughs> some of the stuff. They definitely but definitely do. But um, the, there is being able to put this seamless uh, express, not express delivery, instant delivery almost, into your shopping cart is just – uh, yeah. Well, cause yeah. I guess from the, like from the Uber side of things too is, yeah, you might have some, some oh. items that are of value, but the de- delivery method from, cause what have they started off with? You know, like, you know, if you Uber eats and you food, it's just another item. Like it's just going it to is. a place, doing the exact same thing you do with all the other things. You can well, you don't have up, to worry about it keeping it hot. It to a destination. You know, it's cold. It's just... Yeah. yeah, it's it's actually uh, simpler, and it's it's that price point where it just it's it, as you said, it's, it's five bucks extra than what I would have had to pay for freight anyway. Yeah, and what, I would have been waiting for it? a day or two. Well, more longer because I'm still waiting for mine. Yeah, true. Yep, and I bought it uh, at the same time. At the same time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's yep. it's an interesting development, and if you've got the opportunity and your product makes sense. What will be interesting was the fees, of course, to the business because Uber is notorious that they charge their restaurants pretty significant amounts and it's challenging. So we, we will yeah. see what those deals are and whether or not it's something that can only be done at that JB Hi-Fi big sort of corporate level yeah. or it's something that we as a small business here uh, could actually offer and it's still sensible. Now, we deal with often big ticket items, so maybe it makes sense, but uh, very interested to see how yeah. that goes. Yeah. Very interesting development. Absolutely. So anyway, on that note, uh, I have a Black Friday sale to put on. You do. I uh, have a drive home to do. You've got a big drive home to do. You so do. guys, thank you for watching. No commitments made this week. We're going to hold the yeah. commitments from last time, push that across to a, to a future episode. And we'll be back with uh, maybe a bit of a Black Friday wrap up of how things actually went and what worked well and what worked poorly uh, and go from there. And as always, remember to um, come and check out Instagrams and TikToks for our virtual hangouts. Absolutely. We look forward to it. Always interested to hear new people's opinions. Hanging out with you on a Friday uh, Friday night. Sounds good. Friday afternoon. Anyway, we're out of Sinjin. That's it. One of those. One of those. Let's go do more. All right. Just fade out. Just fade out.